like yeah, you know, go Flames, go. You know, like go Flames, go. You got to cheer on the hometown team. I mean, come on. I mean, all, I know not everybody's a sports fan and not a hockey fan, but you know, I mean, admittedly, I'm not the most you know devout follower of hockey, nor do I understand the game that much. I mean, I can't even skate because I have poor ankles, which, by the way, I need rolling today. I need to roll my ankles. We remain uh, loosey goosey, uh, limber timber. You know, got to. Uh, Give it a shake sometimes, you gotta give your eggs a shake, you can't be afraid to give your eggs a little shake sometimes, you know? Anyway, you know, I'm just, I've been sitting in here for like an hour or so, you know, feeding the animals some of my, uh, you know, nuts, my walnuts, you know, this squirrel, and I don't know if it's a he or a she, but, you know, something tells me it's a she, because he, she really likes the, uh, the nuts that I leave for her. There seems to be one or two left behind that she hasn't found yet, and hopefully she can find it. Maybe I can, uh, coax her. I can't reach it. Anyway, I've been sitting here. Playing some of the old classic Pokemon strategy game. It is a strategy game. It's good for uh, the mind. Better than some uh, video games that are, well, not so uh, intelligent, shall we say. I'm not going to name any names, but you know. This one's fairly bad. Not, not bad. It's not bad. I was going to say it's fairly bad, but it's not bad. It's fairly good, really. It's quite good, really. In moderation, of course. I'm going to, uh, you know, shut down the old handheld uh, Super Nintendo system for now, without backlight. You can see it's from uh, the year 2000. See? This is the same one. Same cartridge I've ever had since I was, uh, you know, young. You know, kept good cab. You know, never traded it in. Good thing, too, because, you know, these Nintendo products seem to retain their value more so than most of the other ones, you see? Anyway, look at that reflection. Wow, look at that reflection. You see the Canada peace sign? Yes, peaceful Canada. Peaceful Canada. Right, uh, Oh boy, what am I doing? I'm sitting in a park in New Westminster. I, uh, you know, I guess I just instinctually went to the, uh, you know, most central tree. You know, sat down below it. You know, I'm just connecting with the earth, you know. Bare skin on the earth, you know. Trying something new, you know, pushing my comfort zone, really. And, oh look, she's coming back for more nuts. Is she coming back for more nuts? She likes my nuts. I'm assuming you're a girl, you might be a boy, but you know, squirrels. I'm assuming the squirrels are male, cause blah 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 What was I trying to say? I said, I'm assuming this squirrel is a girl, because squirrels tend to like nuts and enjoy them, you see? Alright, alright, I'm sorry for the wisecrack. I hope I didn't offend anybody, personally. But just look at this squirrel. I mean, I don't want to hurt her. Or him. I don't want to hurt this thing. Look at this little guy. I just want to feed him, you know, free walnuts, and you know... I'm sorry, if you want more, you're not going to get him, because I gave you your fair share already. You're going to have to go find, uh, you know, uh, a source of, uh, of snack. Really, you know, come on. You know, like, go flames, go, you know? Gotta raise those vibrations, gotta raise those vibrations. Raise those vibrations. Raise the vibrations on Death's Earth. We can do it all one at a time, you know, we have it within us all. You know, just to raise our own vibrations, first of all. And then, once our vibrations and spirits are lifted, we can, you know, start, you know, inspiring other people. Just, you know, even with a, you know, one drip of the confidence that we got now. Even if it's one drip of the confidence. And the inspiration that I have feeling now every day when I, uh, you know, wake up, and, you know, we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be like, we're gonna be dancing in the streets, you know, my favorite, you know, dance tracks, high energy dance tracks, and, you know, many more hits because I have a very broad musical taste, you see? Quite a broad musical taste. I like, I, I enjoy, you know, tracks from, well, really all the way back from the, uh, 60s. Uh, you know, I don't mind, you know, the tracks from earlier times, but, you know, they're not, well, they're not really my thing. Not saying I don't enjoy listening to them because they are quite, you know, pleasant. Some of them, some of those old classics. Where the hell am I going? I'm just doing some crazy improv. You see, am I a schizophrenic person? I don't agree with that, uh, you know, notion. But I wouldn't blame people for, you know, you know, like the uh, the don't judge a book by its color thing. You know, I wouldn't, you know, blame people if they, you know, their first impression of me was that I'm a little bit of crazy. You know, schizophrenic person. I mean, if I really was a true schizophrenic person, then I would have all these thoughts. Voices in my head that I wouldn't be able to decipher from reality. Blah, 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 from reality, I wouldn't be aware of them in the first place, and then I would deny it. But uh, I'm neither of those things. You know what? At first, I was in a bit of a phase. I thought I was going schizophrenic because I'm in my mid twenties. They say schizophrenia occurs in the mid twenties. They say schizophrenic people tend to speak in rhymes and riddles and patterns and beats. Well, I'm kind. Blah, 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 blah. I'm you know kind of a. Uh, I'm kind of really doing that now, but, you know, I don't think I'm schizophrenic, not in the slightest, because I'm aware. I'm perhaps more aware than I ever have been before in my 